Today, we're going to take a look at a couple examples of how to use implicit differentiation. So say we're given an equation, we'll do x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. And we're told to find dy dx implicitly. First, what we're going to do is take the derivative with respect to x of both sides of the equation. So we'll have d dx of x squared plus y squared is equal to d dx of 16. Now we know wh what the answer is to the right side of the equation. The derivative of any constant is 0, right? So now let's take the derivative of the left side of the equation. Well, we know the derivative of x squared is just 2x. And then when we're doing implicit differentiation, right, and we're taking the derivative with respect to x of a uh, of y, what we do is we take the derivative, so y squared is going to be 2y, and then we multiply that by dy dx. And let me show why that is on the right side over here. So basically, what we're doing here is we know that y is some function of x, like some function of x, but we don't know what it is, right? So let's just, let's say instead we had y of x squared, right? And we were told to find the derivative of this. Well, we know that we would just apply the chain rule, right? And we would get 2 times y of x to the first power times y prime of x. So we just did the chain rule. And what's going on over here is the exact same thing that we just did over here. <clears throat> Except instead of saying y of x, we're just saying y. So that's a little explanation of what we're doing here. So now that we have 2x plus 2y dy dx equals 0, we can just solve for dy dx. So let's subtract 2x from both sides of the equation, and we'll get 2y dy dx is equal to negative 2x, and then divide by 2y, and we'll get dy dx is equal to negative x over y. Now let's look at another example. Say we have, oh, I don't know, let's do 3xy um, is equal to y squared. Let's start by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. d dx of 3xy is equal to d dx of y squared. Now, on the left side of the equation, we have the chain rule. Uh, I mean, uh, not the chain rule, sorry. We have the product rule going on, 3x times y. So the derivative of 3x is 3 and then times y plus uh, 3x times the derivative of y, well, that's just 1, so we have 3x. But since we're doing implicit differentiation, we can't forget the dy dx. Oh, hold on a second. I accidentally wrote 3y. I meant to write 3x. So let's do this. We have 3x dy dx. And then on the right side of the equation, we have 2y dy dx, just like we had in the previous example. So now that we're at this point, we can just solve for dy dx. So why don't we get our dy dx's all on the same side of the equation by subtracting 3x dy dx from both sides. So we'll have 3y is equal to 2y dy dx minus 3x dy dx. Now why don't we factor dy dx out of the right side of the equation? So we'll have 3y is equal to 2y, let's put this in parentheses, minus 3x dy dx. And now to solve for dy dx, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2y minus 3x. And our answer is going to be 3y over 2y minus 3x is equal to dy dx. And that is how you do implicit differentiation.